look folks i do apologize um my phone my phone storage actually ran out which is why this video got cut off but let's go into um look let's continue on this uh, this video here and this uh, this particular uh, breakdown of the of the uh, the word tongues in the bible and and what we can uh, construct here precept upon precept that actually has some real meat and edification behind it uh, that's hopefully going to give you a new outlook on the on the speak on the speaking of tongues so uh, let me let me pick it off uh, pick it up again from um uh, the 14th verse so it reads this is paul speaking here uh, to the corinthians uh, follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts but rather that you may prophesy for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries, right? And you can have a two-sided argument here. You can say um, there can be people who actually speak in tongues that feel like they're being led by the spirit. That would say that mysteries is perhaps referring to uh, the mysteries that uh, can't be interpreted. That it's a revelation that's coming down through God. And you actually need an interpreter to come and... Um, understand what you're saying secondly to that um you know uh, uh mysteries might also be another argument just thinking here you know with the spirit here um mysteries could be the mysteries of the gospel uh he that speaketh in unknown tongues speaketh mysteries right because the brothers and sisters who are out in the world who are not necessarily part of any religion who don't have a relationship with god the word of god is a mystery right the word of god is not understood it's a new tongue it's a new language that comes to them, right? We speak to them as Isaiah prophesied uh, in stammering lips and in, in an unknown tongue. The context of the Bible is widely uh, misunderstood throughout today's world, especially when you have the global religious system corrupting the true word of God. So so that that's that's my take on things right there, right? But he that prophesieth speak unto men, picking it up from the third verse here, to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church, right? Edifieth the assembly of the congregation. I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied, for greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. Now, I just wonder if uh, this whole interpreter is regarding, you know, uh, particular missionaries or apostles or prophets of today who would go out and um, pastors and preachers who would tour the world and need an interpreter to speak to someone in their native language um, because obviously the languages have been confounded uh by god uh, since the tower of babel with the 70 languages praise god right so i just wonder if that's an interpreter referring to an interpreter going out and interpreting uh what is being spoken of in the word of god in their native language that wouldn't be understood in their own actual dialect remember that that greek word dialectos that we covered in uh, uh the video a couple of videos earlier when we we're breaking down part one of this um of this understanding that I'm that I'm giving you today, right? Or this review. So, uh, picking it up in the sixth verse, uh, the heading here, the subheading is interpretation required in my King James Pocket Bible. Uh, now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine? And even things without life-giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sound, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken of? For ye shall speak into the air. There are, it may be so, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edif edifying of the church. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray, that he may interpret. 
right? We're going to leave it there, I think. Just well, I was blown away in the spirit today, speaking in the native tongue of the word of God, which is not understood in the world. Folks, I just hope this has given you a whole understanding. This has given you a whole different perspective of the understanding of the word of tongues in the Bible. I purely came up with this comprehensive analysis today by the revelation that has been handed down to me through the spirit of wisdom as part of the Holy Spirit. I was guided last night by the Holy Spirit to go precept upon precept, line upon line in the Holy Bible, to understand, to put together this solid argument regarding the speaking of tongues, right? It is a new language that we under that we are given through the holy spirit right we understand that the fruits of the holy spirit is love joy peace fervency goodness right it's spoken of in galatians 5 verse 23 uh contrary to that is galatians 5 i believe verse 22 and 21 which speaks of the um the the lust of the flesh which goes contrary to the spirit right um, through my own understanding, I could be wrong. I really want to emphasize the fact that I could be wrong and I may be misteaching certain things, but just have patience with me, with me, bear with me, and maybe send me an email, right? That I'm, I could be wrong in this particular area and I will analyze it. I will analyze it. I will test the spirits of which I will test the fruit and I will test your wisdom, right? And I will not be ignorant. I refuse to be ignorant right because the moment that we harden our hearts and we stop learning we start dying in the spirit but i really do feel like um speaking of tongues uh the talking of tongues uh and um breakdown that i've given you today will hope you know will inspire you to understand that the spiritual gifts that come with uh with the holy spirit allow us to go contrary to the flesh and we start to uh, physically in our own physical bodies as well as our own spiritual bodies we start to hate sin and we start to uh, speak the word of god right we start to uh, gain the knowledge of the wisdom and, and the word of god through the holy spirit is able to come through us we know that when we face persecution for uh, keeping the commandments that um, we're not to fear in these moments what we're going to say because the Holy Spirit takes over and we start to utter the word of God, right? And we are able to prophesy, uh, we are able to prophesy truth and things that are just and things that are virtuous, things that are right in these moments. So I just wonder if the whole talk, the whole speaking of tongues that is uh, uh, the ritual or the practice that is regularly seen in these Baptist and Pentecostal churches, I really do wonder if there is an evil origin behind it. And I don't, and, and I could be wrong. I really do wonder um, if this is a genuine fruit of the spirit. And I, and you know, I really do wonder if. Um, you know what what where where this whole idea came from the whole talk talking of tongues right where did this originate from obviously you know if it was at the day of pentecost in the book of acts and i am wrong here altogether in mentioning all this because perhaps i covered it wrongly the book of acts right um brothers and sisters will be out there and will watch this video and will will probably will likely come against what i'm saying right now and say yeah you are wrong and okay, you know, I will accept that. Um, but perhaps there is something, there is something more behind the whole speaking of tongues. It's really fascinating and intriguing. I think it's really fascinating, fascinating and intriguing, uh, to the extent where I've had a brother contact me uh, from the UK. He's told me that he was, and he's shown me physical proof that he's been able to cast out demons through the holy spirit and this particular brother also speaks in tongues he's 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 been able to 
uh, speak in tongues, which is what we see in these churches, in these Pentecostal and uh, Baptist uh, uh, institutions or organizations that we see, establishments, right? So I wonder, I do wonder about these branches of Christianity. I wonder about the whole talking, uh, the whole speaking of tongues. But, you know, more importantly, I do hope, I pray that today this video has been edifying for you, that it's given you also a different insight into uh, speaking in tongues, that um, you'll be able to uh, use to inspire you to go out maybe perhaps travel the world, maybe perhaps travel to uh, different parts of the country, the globe, wherever you're residing, and to start prophesying in the Word of God, or to simply start adhering to your calling as the Most High uh, tells us to do, for He rewards us according to our works and according to the fruit of our doings, and go out and start preaching the gospel that is a different tongue. For this is almighty and all powerful. You know, I met a girl out on the streets last week uh, as part of a Christian uh, fellowship on 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 the Friday night on the on the on the on the Holy uh, Shabbat, and she came from a Pentecostal denomination. She was a very young girl. She was probably about nineteen years old. And uh, shout out to her. You know, she. She, she really wanted to, she had the genuine desire to, to be a faithful Christian and, and to become baptized. And, you know, I, I, I said to her, you know, we have the power as being Christians, faithful Christians, that is, of having a new doctrine that is totally contrary to what man has taught us. You know, remember the man of the, the rulers and leaders of today over Israel and over the Gentiles and over the world today, Israel being a collective community of believers, that we are being led by babes and children that do not have the knowledge of God, right? And for this reason, we have the knowledge and we speak in these new tongues. We speak in Bible prophecy. For the most high's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, but we are their servants, right? So automatically when we are baptized and... Uh, when we receive the Holy Spirit, when we start naturally hating unrighteousness and sin, and when we are cleansed from all evil, the Word of God becomes our dictator in the way we live our life. And we automatically exalt ourselves above the lost sheep around us. And we adopt a new philosophy that men, the vain philosophy of men, simply can't handle as we've exposed today in the Word of God. So on that note, harness that energy that you have through the, through the Holy Spirit, through the wisdom of the Scriptures. Meditate always on the, on, on the Word of God. That's how I came up with today's uh, comprehensive breakdown of the, of the speaking of tongues. Harness it and use it as an almighty power. Use it to inspire you to overtake the strongholds that you once had of the world that the sin that's been causing you in lock that's been keeping you in lockdown and realize that the fruits of the spirit are more powerful than any temporary pleasure of this world any temporary sin right that had overtaken you in times past because the word of god and the spirit is life eternal the flesh and this shell that we live in and that we speak from is temporary folks it will pass away as will all sin in the lake of fire and on that note may god bless you on this glorious day full of sunshine for him from here where i am may the holy spirit bless you may god bless you unceasingly may you be protected by the ministering angels may they form a hedge of protection around you that no evil befall you May you stand up and resist the temptations of the wiles of the devil. And may you be strong in the word of God. May you go out and prophesy and adhere, minister to your apostolic calling or your prophetic calling. Go out and be true ministers of the Holy Gospel. Speak in new tongues and be servants of the Most High. Joyfully and willfully. 
in the name of Christ Yeshaya. Shalom. On this feast of the blowing of the trumpets.